I started in the environmental movement in 1979, <coughs> heading up um, what's now Friends of the Earth's Energy Conservation Project. We also worked for the recent passage of the Energy Independence and Security Act, which included the Green Jobs Act of 2007. Uh, that 30 million, 125 million, 30,000. And so, within the context of nuclear power, you've heard a lot of the anti nuclear information. Uh, hopefully, we will present some pro nuclear information today. But last year at this conference, we had the pro and con discussion. We had anti nuclear activists here and, and pro nuclear uh, pro uh, proponents, proponents of nuclear power. And so we had that discussion last year. <coughs> we don't necessarily want to cover that ground today. We really want to try to think about, and that's what I would appreciate feedback from you, think about how minorities can get into this business. It is a business. These plants will cost a few billion dollars. We probably need to build a number of these plants. Now, our organization is pro-nuclear. We came to this position in 2000. Um, for a number of reasons. No smog forming gases come out of the plants and no greenhouse, uh, greenhouse forming gases. So that's part of the reason. Another part of the reason we came out too was because frankly, um, warhead material can be converted into um, a MOX fuel that you can also burn in the plants. So all of these are interesting perspectives. But look um, at the basic business picture. What's the business picture? What are the business opportunities possibly in this nuclear sector? The business possibilities could be anything from um, transportation of nuclear waste. At some point, Yucca Mountain hopefully will be built in Nevada. The waste has to be transported by rail, by truck, by barge. There are opportunities there. The cast has to be built. And so thinking about these different areas regarding nuclear power, what are the areas where a minority businessman can get involved? Some of you might be familiar with Black Enterprise Magazine. Well, Black Enterprise Magazine publishes the, what's called the Black Enterprise 100, that's the top 100 uh, black-owned companies. And some of those companies are in steel and in concrete. Some of those companies provided some of the steel for the Woodrow Wilson Bridge replacement over here just below Washington, D.C. Nuclear power plants are basically a lot of steel and concrete. So those are the sorts of things that we would want, that we're promoting, that minority business people might um, might bid on, might try to get contracts in. A number of different